Chero and Seng Selim or Kao Kamu Chero and Seng Selim or Chero and Seng Selim stewed pork like restaurant, with their sophisticated steps in stewing pork palo soup to make the meat tender and melt in your mouth. They have been creating delicious dishes for over 60 years and got a spot in the Bid Gourmand Michelin Guide Thailand for three years straight from 2018 to 2020. The restaurant is packed with customers every day. Has made Khao Kamu Chero and Seng Selim restaurant become a legend. If you love Thai food, please subscribe, like, share, and comment so you don't miss any exclusive content that dig deeps into more Thai food than anywhere else. Sawas D. Krub and welcome to Thai food universe during Thai food near me part. My name is Doi T. Rapas. Today we're taking you to see Chero and Seng Selim or Khao Kamu Chero and Seng Selim or Chero and Seng Selim stewed pork like restaurant with their sophisticated steps in stewing pork palo soup to make the meat tender and melt in your mouth. They have been creating delicious dishes for over 60 years and got a spot in the Bid Gourmand Michelin Guide Thailand for three years straight from 2018 to 2020. The restaurant is packed with customers every day. Has made Khao Kamu Chero and Seng Selim restaurant become a legend. Palo is a Chinese cooking style that is well known all over China and also well known in Thailand as well. Palo in Thai is a word from Hakkian Chinese, Palo. It is one of the steps to cook palo meat, which that is to braise brown sugar until melted in pan, add salt, soy sauce, meat, or other spices and stir to combine. When the color is nice, add spice and water, then braise until cooked. If it is duck or goose, lemongrass, and galangal will be added to erase smell. Scald with palo water, then keep it boiling in palo water. Word lo in chaozhou Chinese and word lu in Mandarin mean dark colored soon. Adding spices, salt, and soy sauce, used to cook meat until the its color become brownish red. Pork like palo is a dish that originated from China. Palo the Chinese people generally accepted as the most famous is the Tiachu palo. Besides it being a delicious dish, it's also a medicine with ingredients from various Chinese medicines. Today, pork like palo is a popular dish that is sold all over the country. It's a dish that can be eaten as a one plate dish or separately with rice. Spice recipe or palo ingredients has varieties. Famous palo ingredients are cinnamon, clove, anise, dried mandarin orange skin, coriander seeds, caraway, grass jelly, arhat fruit, pepper, Sichuan chili, licorice, sanging, and hyo leaves. Other than that, there are ingredients like shallot, garlic, coriander root, dried ginger, cardamom sand ginger and bustard cardamom. Good palo need to have 5 tastes by using 5 kinds of Chinese spices, 5 spice powder. Palo cooked by Thais, is cooked more easily, by using only few Chinese spices and not too much, mostly anise and cinnamon. In Tiachu, it is popular to make goose palo and duck palo by eating with sauce made from chopped garlic with vinegar. Leftover palo water from boiling goose and duck, will be used to boil pork leg, entrails, blood, and lastly, tofu.
Cheryl and Seng Selim Restaurant is a legendary shop that has been open for 61 years, since 1959. Originally, the Cheryl and Seng Selim Restaurant was selling in an alley next to Selim store, on the same site as Lurts in Hospital. Some people still remember calling it the Lurts in Pork Leg. However, it's later been moved to inside Cheryl and Crumb 49 Alley across from State Tower, diagonally from Lurts in Hospital for a while now. Walking a little into the alley and you will find the Chero and Seng Selim restaurant on the right. There's a giant pork leg jar in front of the shop. Tables coming out of the shop. The other side is a place for people to buy them to go with a lot of people both Thai and foreigners waiting and sitting at every single table. The pork leg has an intense flavor that seeps into the meat, with intense palo soup flavor that is salty mixed with a little sweet, and not too strong palo smell. One stepped in chili vinegar that has a strong flavor, it really turns out perfect. To come and eat at famous restaurant like this, you should arrive before 9 o'clock am, so there's still everything available. Once 1 o'clock pm rolls around, everything will be sold out. Right now the person who cuts the pork leg in front of the shop has come down to their daughter of Mr. Bunch Job and she's the third generation of that shop. However, Mr. Bunch Job Bunjard Prayan, the owner, and second generation along with his brother are still controlling the seasoning. Ninety nine per cent of the soup flavor of this Kamuchero and Seng Selim restaurant will have a sharp sweet flavor, but the soup flavor of Kamuchero and Seng Selim restaurant like has just one per cent that will come out sweet with a special taste of its own. There are various pork leg along with pork organs that are sold as set and not as a rice topping. These includes meat and skin that's cut into plates, separated from rice at 50 baht, with extra rice at 5 baht per plate. khaki or pork feet at 60 baht. Mellow taste with tender skin, and tendon that can be chewed through. Along with pork leg soup that tastes just right. Khaki knuckle that comes in small pieces and it's the part from above khaki at 60 baht per plate. They are stewed to the correct tenderness where just using spoon to scoop up can make them fall right off the bone. Meat and skin at 50 baht. Stewed to the right tenderness but not sagging. Meat only without fat and separated skin that's scratched off and separated into smaller legs at 140 baht per leg, suitable for two people. As for large pork leg, it's at 280 baht each and it's the front leg for the entire large leg. The small leg is the large leg in half. For the organs or liver, intestines, tongue, and heart where you can order as you wish at 50 baht. The tongue is both tender and fragrant. Mr. Buncha said that they only chose to use the front leg and a cut no more than 2 kilograms. When boiled they will cook evenly. Now they don't need to burn by themselves anymore, 
we can tell the delivery person to just readily bake it. The pork leg of today have less skin, so there's no need to bake until it's dry. The first step of every day will begin at 3 o'clock p.m. where cutting tool is used to cut into pieces that we want and then cut out the bad part. At 4.30 p.m. we prepare the stew with Palo Chinese medicine seasoning and leave it boiling for half an hour. Afterwards, we remove the Palo seasoning and this is the secret to keep the Palo smell milk. The seasoning will mainly using coriander roots, garlic, and pepper. Boil until 9 p.m. The second step at 5 o'clock a dot in dot will be boiling for the second time. This time, using every part from every pot and mixed into a single pot, seasoned with secret sauce of the restaurant. The taste of that pot will mix it very well and ready to serve at 7 a.m. To get to Charo and Seng Selim restaurant, from Selim Road, goes straight towards Lord Sin Hospital. Before arriving at Charo and Krung intersection, you will see Charo and Krung 49 alley where you should turn into. Around the middle of the alley you will see Charo and Seng Selim restaurant on the right. Those who drive there we recommend you to park at State Tower on the opposite side and use the Starbucks on the bottom floor to stamp your parking ticket. After that, Walk across the street and you will arrive at the Chero and Seng Selim restaurant. Chero and Seng Selim restaurant is 600 meters from BTS Sap Han Taksin Station Exit 3. Chero and Seng Selim restaurant only accepts cash and no credit card. They are open every day from 8 o'clock a.m. to 2 o'clock p.m. You can ask for more information at 662-2348036. I accept all comments that are different from mine. Because, regarding the taste of how each person like, they are all different. Please kindly comment and respect others. I would like to tell you that every restaurant we visit, we pay the expenses ourselves. As for YouTube channel Thai Food Universe, we will try to upload videos every day. If you'd like to support and encourage us to make a special exclusive content digging deeper into Thai food, you can support us with details in the description below. Before we leave, please let me know what your favorite Khao Kamu or stewed pork leg on rice restaurant is. If you love Thai food, please subscribe, like, share, and comment along with pressing the notification bell so you don't miss any exclusive content that dig deeps into more Thai food than anywhere else. 
Only this way Thai food universe.